Welcome to the Long Box Paradox, episode 67. I'm Dan, and we're going to be going over the releases for March 18th, 2020. Uh, I'm going to apologize for not having any videos out last week, but honestly, um, it's a really kind of crappy week of nothing I really want to talk about outside of decorum. And um, I did a little quick review on my Instagram of decorum number one, and I was a little underwhelmed. Uh, I'm still going to stick with it, um, see where it goes, but... Uh, I also didn't have Jennifer, Jen and Comics, with me for last week because she was on vacation and had to go back to work. So uh, with that being said, I will be back this Wednesday, but not for review. Um, myself, Gambit, Jennifer, and possibly Cynia will be back for the Nailbiter Volume 1 live stream for the Ink Panels Graphic Novel Book Club. Uh, very excited to do that. Um, and I'm having way more fun doing the live streams with the current panel we have than doing some of the other videos. Um, but please join us for that. Uh, Nailbiter is one of my favorite books I'm super passionate about and I can't wait to talk about. So with this week's releases, we're gonna start with Image Comics and we have Ascender number 10. Uh, Ascender has been a great book. The Sender was great. It's Lemire, it's Dustin Wynn. Uh, it's just a giant win all around. Uh, pick it up if you haven't read it yet. Uh, start with The Sender, of course, so you know everything going on. And then we have Family Tree number five. Uh, this is starting the new story arc, and I am curious to where it goes because I saw some of the solicits for the uh, upcoming months, and um, looks like the world got pretty screwed up because of Meg and her transition. Uh, we also have Middle West number 16, not much to say other than Scotty Young's killing it with writing. Um, him and Corona have a great combination between them and loving it. Yeah, and we have Spawn number 306. Uh, I'm picking up the cover D McFarlane cover mainly because uh, it looks like it's Gunslinger Spawn on it and it's kind of one of those weird characters I kind of like. Uh, we also have Undiscovered Country number 5. Um, I'm looking through the solicits, and they have two different artists listed for who's doing the B variant. One says it's Kamikoli, the other one says it's Noto. Um, the coloring looks a little bit like Noto, um, but um, either way, the B cover I'm liking, so um, I guess we'll see when we see. Uh, Wishblade number 18 is out, it is the final issue. Uh, I've liked the Caitlin Kittridge run, actually, it added a little bit of a different twist to it. Um, the shipping schedule on it has been erratic at best. Um, if you really want to check out another Caitlin Kittredge book that I think is better though, Coffin Hill is fantastic. Um, and it's horror, so. Uh, also, we, from Dark Horse now, moving on, we have Bang Number 2 by Matt Kent and Wilfredo Torres. Uh, I'm gonna go with the A cover on this. Um, the first book, the second printing, ended up blowing up on the secondary market, so keep that in mind. Uh, we also have Grendel, Devil's Lit Odyssey, number four of eight. I'm a Grendel nerd, so I pick up everything Grendel, probably not for everyone. Uh, we also have uh, Predator Hunters, number th uh, Predators Hunters 3, number two of four. Uh, I'm going to pick up cover B, Way Shack, Glow in the Dark cover, because... Um, I like Predator books, um, and also it's Glow in the Dark, so I kind of feel like I have to pick it up. Um, a book I'm probably not going to pick up, but some people might be interested in, X-Ray Robot number one of four, and that's by Michael Allred, um, and written and art by Michael Allred. Uh, it's kind of interesting, but uh, I'll wait and hear what's going on with it first, because uh, I can't even think about picking it up as a spec, because Michael Allred books don't really ever take off. Uh, from IDW, it's more of the same. Uh, Star Wars Adventures, Transformers, uh, Usagi Ojimbo. Uh, from DC Comics, I'm not going to pick it up, but uh, Aquaman number 58 is out. Uh, the Jeremy Roberts variant is probably the one to pick up if you are. And then Batman number 91, the Penguin cover by Francesco Mattina, uh, probably the one to pick up in my opinion. Uh, has uh, Jorge Jimenez on the art on it. Um, also, it seems that uh, it's more of the designer. Uh, 
Yeah, it's got Harley Quinn. I'm, I'm curious where this is going to go. Um, it's building up to this Joker war thing. Um, and speaking of Joker, if you hadn't seen uh, June 17th, we get the three Joker storyline by Jeff Johns and uh, Jason Fabok. I can't wait. Fabok's been teasing the hell out of this thing for feels like a year now. Maybe a little more um, excited for it. We then have Deceased, Unkillables, number two of three. There's three covers. Um, I'm torn between two of them. There's the horror Ben Oliver cover, and then there is the Matina um, Cheetah cover. Uh, it's going to be a flip of coin. It's probably going to be whatever one my store actually has in stock by the time I get there. Um, also, uh, not posting the picture to it, but the Dollar Comics for this month has the fantastic Grant Morrison JLA number one. It also has Justice League number one from 1987 that has the immortal um, Batman punching out Guy Gardner, one punch. Plus it has Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, um, the best superhero team ever put on this planet, universe, DC universe. Um, then He-Man Masters in the Multiverse number five of six. I'm kind of enjoying this book, but um, really the selling point for me is those Inuk Lee covers. They're fantastic, they, they just are. Uh, Justice League 43, I have not been enjoying Justice League. Uh, it does have a great Care Andrews B variant. Um, just putting that out there. And from the Hill House imprint, we have Lolo Woods number four. Uh, I will be picking up the B cover because it's Jenny Friesen and um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, also, I have Lucifer number 18 coming out. Lucifer's been solid. Uh, I did not take a screenshot of the cover, so uh, yeah, just it, it's the usual Sandman universe type covers. Uh, a book that I really enjoyed, and, num and this is issue two out, also from Hill House, is The Plunge number two of six. The Gary Frank variant, once again, will be the one I pick up. And um, interestingly, there's another artist listed on this one is Stuart Immerman did the first issue now it has Jeremy Wilson as the artist for this one so that is a little disappointing if that's true um, but hey uh, I'm down for it then we have Robin 80th anniversary uh, 100 page super spectacular $10 price point many many different covers uh, I kind of like the Lee Weeks one um, there is a Frank Miller Carrie Kelly one the Dustin Wynn one is very good as well. Uh, there is a Jim Chung one. And I would pick up the Derek Chu one, but I really, really, really hated, hated the Stephanie Brown Robin. Not because of anything. I just, I hated, I've always hated Spoiler. It's a stupid character. Um, just never understood the kind of fandom for it. Um, also, we have coming out uh, Year of the Villain, Hell Arisen number 404. And uh, the B variant with Ricardo Federici on it is the one I'd be picking up. Um, not, a, not a great week from the big two, to be honest. Uh, from Marvel Comics, uh, I don't know why anybody's buying this, but the 2020 Iron Age number one comes out. Um, I didn't take a screenshot of it because I'm just not interested in it. Uh, if I were to pick up one, the Raza variant for the B cover would be the one I'd go after. Um, another book that I, I just, I don't understand why it exists, Amazing Mary Jane number six comes out. Uh, there is a Greg Land variant. <clears throat> uh, we also have Atlantis Attacks number three of five. It's been a terrible run, but just mentioning that it's out there. Uh, Captain America number 20. I'll be picking up the Ben Caldwell Spider-Woman variant. That is the B cover. Uh, Captain Marvel, the only reason why I'm mentioning it is because two variants are actually pretty good for it. The Inuk Lee connecting variant, and then the Dan Panosian Spider Woman variant. Uh, we also have Conan the Barbarian number 14. Again, I suck. I didn't take screenshots of the cover. Uh, another book that I, I'm only going to list because uh, Chris Pachalo is doing the art, and that is Deadpool. Uh, it's not been the greatest, to be honest. Uh, Excalibur number nine, I'm all over the place with this book. Some issues I like, some issues I hate. Um, still better than Fallen Angels, I, I will go to my grave on that one. Um, Fantastic Four number 20, there is a Le Pacino Spider-Woman variant, and that would be the B cover. Uh, 
Again, Fantastic Four is another book that's kind of been all over the place. It's good, it's bad, it's good, it's bad. Uh, Ghost Spider number eight, it's Gwenum back again. Um, you're going to beat this one to death. I, I already feel it, but hey, uh, when you got to go to the well, you got to go to the well. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number three, uh, the regular A cover is the one for me. And that one is by Ivan Chavrin. Um Then we also have the Marvel's X number three of six. I've really been enjoying this book. Uh, it just keeps growing a little bit more, um, sort of hooking me in. Um, we have Morbius number five. The Pyong Joon Park Spider Woman variant is the one I'll be picking up. Then Outlawed number one. I will check out the first part. Um, feels a little bit like the registration thing again. Um, kind of beating that one to death too. But uh, Tony Daniel wraparound variant on it, so I'll be checking that out. And then Spider Woman number one comes out. And I will be picking up the Art Germ variant. There is a lot of variants for this book. A lot. Uh, there's a J. Scott Campbell. There's a Chip Kid die cut one. There's a Garson, a Todd Nock, um, Ron Lim, uh, a Yoon that has the classic, a new costume. Uh, yeah, and I'll check out issue one. Uh, it's Perry Perez and Carla Pacheco on it as the creatives. Uh, not too familiar with either of them, to be honest. Uh, then we have Star Wars number four. Uh, Star Wars, since it got rebooted, has been pretty good. Charles Soule is um, in solid. Jesus Saiz as the artist. Um, we also then have... Um, Valkyrie Jane Foster number nine. I'm going to be passing on that. Uh, not for any specific reason, it's just I, I've kind of been getting it in digital, so buying at the store is pointless at this point. Uh, X-Force number nine, X-Force has been a solid book. Um, ben Percy writing, Joshua Kassara, Dustin Weaver cover. Uh, that, that's one I, I've kept up with since it released. Uh, Dynamite, it's the same stuff. Kiss, Zombies, Red Sonja. Um, what else? Vampirella. Just uh, more Vampirella. More Vampirella. Just kind of, they, they they know their audience and that's what they cater to. Uh, we also, Boom Studios now. Firefly number 15. I will pick up the A cover. Um, we also have Something is Killing the Children number 6. I really, really enjoy this book, and the Final Order Cutoff variant by Jenny Friesen is amazing. Uh, there is also a 25-copy incentive that is the, looks like a sketch variant of the actual uh, Jenny Friesen cover. Uh, again, I wouldn't pay uh, ratio for it. I'd want somewhere right below or just in that area, but it is a very nice cover. Um, that pretty much is it. Um, looking at the indies coming out, there's, again, not much that really interests me greatly. Uh, yeah, nothing, really nothing. So uh, with that being said, uh, thank you for watching, enjoying, subscribing for those who have subscribed. Uh, again, working on this schedule and trying to get better at releasing on time. Um, but uh, again, if you feel like joining us for the live stream, it will be Wednesday the 18th at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, should be a lively discussion and uh, Gambit has to make his pick for what our April uh, blah, excuse me April book will be. And um, hopefully I should have another two videos out that week. Uh, really trying to get better at it. Um, movie wise, now that all the movies are being pushed back and the theaters are regulating how many people can be in the auditorium with this pandemic, uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do movie reviews. I'm uh, really not. 
But I uh, hope everybody's uh, safe, healthy, and uh, take care of yourselves. Thank you, goodbye, and good luck this Wednesday. Bye.